Hi there, welcome to Emailgistics, and welcome to your second module of your end user Emailgistics course. In this module, I'm going to be covering how to search in Outlook and retrieve messages that might have been sent from another user, might be in a different folder, easily all within your Microsoft Outlook desktop application and your Emailgistics shared mailbox. The first thing that you're going to want to do when trying to search for a message is navigate over to the Outlook search bar just above your ribbons in your Microsoft Outlook desktop application. So here you'll click on search and you have the option to search by current mailbox, current folder, subfolders, or all Outlook items. It is very highly recommended that you always search by current inbox or current folder. That way your searching time does not have to go through every single Outlook item that might be in your Outlook desktop application, which can then slow down Microsoft Outlook. For this purpose, I'm going to search by current mailbox because I want to search items within the shared mailbox that's been onboarded with email logistics. And once I have that option for current mailbox, I can hit a second drop down here to expand my search parameters. So using these parameters are going to help you narrow down your search results so you don't have to filter through thousands of messages to find the one message you're looking for. For example, if a message contained an attachment, I'd be able to say, yes, it contains an attachment. Did the attachment contain anything? Is it part of a specific category? Who it's from? Was there anything in the body of the message when it was received between what date and another date? What was the subject line? Who was sent to? And you do have the option to get more ability to have different fields to search by just by clicking add more options here. In this case, I'd like to search by the subject line. Now I have a predetermined subject line that I would like to search by. So I will just throw it in here and we can see that I have broken cable and the conversation ID number. Very important to note that you can search Outlook by the conversation ID number. So if this is ever referenced to you or you know the ID number you're searching for, you could pull that up and search for it directly in Outlook without ever having to filter through thousands of messages and we'll pull up every email that's associated with that conversation. In this case, I'm searching for the subject line broken cable with the conversation ID number. Once I hit search, Outlook is going to run its search and pull those items and let me know which folder they're currently in. We can see that there's one in the archive folder, and we can also see there's one in the set items folder, giving me the ability to see the entire conversation right at the tips of my fingers. Now, if messages are categorized and you wish to search by category, but you don't have any message content that you want to search by, the second option that I prefer is to search directly by that category. So if I hit the drop down here, I'm going to remove the previous subject line I searched by and I'm going to hit the categories drop down. And this will give me a list of all the categories that are in Microsoft Outlook. I'm going to search by our rush category. Once I hit search, this is going to pull up every message that has been tagged as rush and which folder it's in. So we can see that Zach does have one message in his folder that I can pull and take a look at right here. Now, according to our golden rules, I cannot respond to this message from Zach's folder. What I'm going to do is go ahead and quickly assign it over to myself. And we can see that the owner of the message has changed to Rick Ratto. Now that I own the message and I'm able to search for it, I can go ahead and reply to it or do whatever I need with the information in here. I could see all the notes. I could check the conversation details. All of this is available to you without ever having to leave your Outlook desktop application. Searching is very important for finding those messages that you do need to locate and being able to search all these folders by searching current mailbox will help you find every single message that's a part of your search parameters and which folder they belong in or which folder they are a part of at that moment. Archive, 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 Rick Grado and archive. You can also search by individual folder. So if I know the message was previously archived and it's not an actual live message that's already in the middle of being worked, I can go ahead and say, I want to search by current folder and I'm going to select the archive folder. Once I have my current folder option selected, I hit the drop down, and I might want to search by that rush category again. Now I'm just going to pull up every message that's in this specific folder. You can expand these results by searching current mailbox or any other parameter that you wish. 
Thank you for joining me on how to search in Microsoft Outlook with the mailbox onboarded with email logistics. If you have any questions, you can always reach out to support at emailgistics.com and we'll be more than happy to help you. Thank you again, and I'll see you on the next one.